Volkswagen one was actually the first uh, image that I did in this series. And uh, this is made of two images. So they're two individual photographs uh, that were both shot on a very foggy day. And uh, I had come upon this scene by accident. I was, I was actually driving uh, and literally the, it was just gorgeous fog. And I just stopped and got out of the car and just started shooting. Um, and it's, it's a bike path and uh, a, a landscape of just trees and snow. Uh, mm -hmm. And this one actually doesn't have nearly as much manipulation as some of the later ones. Uh, but I, I like the, the, the simplicity of this one and the ethereal quality. And, and as soon as I found that, I knew that that was a quality that I wanted to go after in other images. Mm -hmm. uh, in Holzwege number three, uh, this is actually a combination of three different photographs. Uh, one of them, the highway image, is taken at sunset, uh, driving from Cleveland, Ohio, uh, on Route 80 back to Toledo. And then uh, the other two images are, are photographs of woods uh, here in the Sylvania area, in, Toledo, in the Toledo area. And um, in this one, I started experimenting with having the grass kind of coming up through the highway and having the uh, trees coming through the clouds. Uh, but I do, do a lot of photographs on the road, and that's something that I, I do very consciously uh, because we experience so much of the landscape on the road now that you know mm -hmm. that's that's become our our life uh and i also uh in all of these and actually if i go to number four um you can see in holzwege number four that they're not idealized landscapes i'm including the the uh communication towers and telephone wires and things like that because these are about a contemporary experience of the landscape uh, they're metaphorical, and I want them to feel like they're part of our life experience. Um, but at the same time, there are elements that can't possibly go together. They can't possibly be part of the same scene. Uh, in this particular image, there's kudzu, which is an invasive species, an invasive plant species, uh, which does not exist in Toledo, but then um, half of the landscape is taken in Toledo on, on a bike trail that I... I actually rollerblade a lot on. So it's not necessarily obvious, uh, but I know that there are uh, disparate images uh, that couldn't possibly be in the same place at the same time. Mm -hmm. uh, Holtzwege number five uh, is certainly an example of two disparate images that couldn't possibly be in the same place at the same time. Uh, the water is actually Lake Erie and the other landscape is, is out west. Uh, and in the desert, so those, uh -huh. couldn't, those couldn't be more opposite. Um, but I like the ethereal quality uh, that I was able to get by combining those two. And one of the things that, at least for me, driving can be a really meditative experience and kind of a blank canvas, and it really allows you to think and, and just kind of contemplate your life. And uh, I feel like this image speaks to that experience, especially when you're driving out west and you just drive and it's just miles and miles of open road and nothingness. Mm -hmm. uh, and you can really contemplate the landscape and get lost. Sometimes you kind of forget you're driving. Not, not a great thing, but... <laughs> <laughs> um, in Holtzwege number seven, uh, the highway image was taken somewhere between here and the east coast. I believe it was in Pennsylvania. Uh, and the mountain in the background is actually Gay Head, uh, which is um, Martha's Vineyard, a uh, place that I, I go back to uh, periodically. Holtzwege number eight is also uh, utilizing similar imagery of, that's actually another one that I used that Gay Head uh, landscape in the background and the, the highway with lots of cars. Um, I don't usually have this many cars in the images, and that was something that I, I play around with occasionally, seeing what happens when, when there are a lot of cars, because when we're driving, that's, well, that's what you see, you know? Right. <laughs> and again, they're not meant to be idealized landscapes, they're meant to be contemporary landscapes, so uh, I, I am including cars and whatever happens to be in, in real landscapes that you see when you're driving. Mm -hmm. In Holtzwege number 10, uh, I actually have included my shadow, which I, I don't usually include, although sometimes I'll include um, windshield wipers or part of the car. Um, but these landscapes were all shot on foot. 
and it happened to be very strong light. It was very late in the day. And uh, the images that make up this photograph are in Colorado. And so the, the very strong yellows uh, and the, the really intense blue sky uh, is not manipulated. That actually is what it looked like. Uh -huh. Uh, the, the, we, I was in Aspen, Colorado <clears throat> when I shot uh, the, the source photos for this one and the lighting was, was just striking. It was just absolutely stunning. Mm -hmm. uh, in Holtzweig 11, uh, this was made up of three different photographs and all three of these were shot in Colorado. They were also shot in the Aspen area. And for me, the, the landscapes, even though Nobody is necessarily going to know this when they look at the images. Um, for me, the, the, the places that I'm shooting represent uh, places that are meaningful, personally meaningful to me. Um, the images that I shot in Colorado for this project uh, were actually made when my husband and I were in Aspen um, for a, a long weekend. He was uh, recruited and he was actually interviewing for a job and we were out there basically he was interviewing and we were really evaluating whether or not we wanted to pick up and move to Colorado whether this was even something we wanted and that's something that we all do in life we all reach these points where we have to say okay do I want to take that opportunity is this something I'm interested in do I want to apply for that job if I get the job do I do we want it mm -hmm. and um, what does that mean what does that mean for a family to pick up and move you know from ohio to colorado and um, what might your life be like uh if you were to do that and so so some of the landscapes that i'm working with represent those junctures in life where you're really reevaluating where you are and where you want to be uh and so the, the images that are shot in aspen for me represent that that possibility of change that that unknown and then when i'm layering these landscapes together in photoshop uh, you, you feel like you, you can see where you're going, you feel like you know where you are visually, and then all of a sudden as you follow that path, you, you get in this lost space where you can't quite figure out what's going on, and then you get to another part of the image where it does make sense again. And again, that's meant to be a metaphor for the experiences that we have in life. Mm -hmm. uh, Holtzweger 13, uh, in this image you can see actually the windshield wipers of the car, so uh, I'm placing the viewer in that perspective of looking, driving, looking through the windshield, um, seeing the road from that from the driver's perspective or from the passenger's perspective. Uh, and this was uh, an image that combines a photograph from uh, Colorado and uh, a, another landscape uh, that was shot on the highway. Uh, and I liked in this one the way it looks like you're kind of driving into the clouds and, and the water of the lake that, that I've photographed actually becomes part of the sky. And I like the way it just, you just seem to be kind of going into the clouds, mm -hmm. kind of driving into the clouds in that one. Holtz Vegas 16 is a composite that's made up of photographs that were shot in a, a prairie area in uh, Ohio. And... Uh, I like the, the surreal quality of the, the plants, uh, the sort of swampiness uh, of the landscape and the plants kind of coming up through the boardwalk and kind of overtaking it. And yet at the same time, all of the, the trees look like they're kind of dead and there's something very bleak about the landscape in the background. Mm -hmm. uh, Holtz Vega 17 is a combination of two very different places. Um, one of the landscapes, the, the the landscape that's the foreground on the left side, the tree in the foreground, and the ground on the left side of the image uh, is shot in, in the Toledo area. Uh, and then the clouds and the water and the mountains uh, are shot in um, Cinque Terre in Italy, uh, actually on the, the west coast of Italy. And uh, this was a little bit different. This image was a little bit different because I combined them uh, in a different way than I have in a lot of the other ones. And there's there's less transparency in this one. Uh, and I'm always surprised when people look at it and, and say, where was that taken thinking it's a single image? Because it's not, the perspectives are not physically, they don't line up. <laughs> <laughs> um, but a lot of times because the, the blending of this image is so subtle, a lot of people don't realize that they're looking at two different images. Mm -hmm. um, that's That's always kind of fun when people discover 
sometimes late in the game that, that they're not looking at a, a, a real landscape, a, a landscape that was made with one image. Um, so, but the, this was done in, in Italy and Ohio. Uh, Holtzvega 18 uh, was made, it was also shot in Cinque Terre uh, in a highway in Italy. And uh, one of the things that I wanted to do is combine not only American landscapes, but bring in uh, elements of, of other places, uh, European landscapes as well. Um, because the, even though I'm American and, and my experience is American, um, our landscape and, and our experience of the landscape is, is not purely American. I mean, what is American? <laughs> We're all from, eventually, we all came from, from different places. And um, the, the Europeans, when they settled here in the United States, really uh, changed the landscape of this country. And so I went to Italy and uh, I, for two reasons. One is I wanted to have that European layer, but also I wanted to have the rolling hills and the, the different kinds of plants and the different kinds of landscapes that uh, the Tuscany area in particular uh, provided me. Holtzwegen 19 is a, a combination of a, a boardwalk uh, that is here in Toledo uh, in a, a prairie region and then uh, also the, the terraced uh, farming uh, is, is in Tuscany in Italy and so this was a juxtaposition of both an American and an Italian landscape. Uh, Holzweger 20 is uh, another image that combines uh, photographs shot in Italy as well as in uh, Ohio and this image is actually made up of three photographs uh, and I provided screenshots of, of this one mm -hmm. uh, so you can actually see the, the, the separate images that make up uh, the one composite, the photo montage. So this is a photo, two photographs that were made in rural Ohio. Um, one that shows the soybeans and the uh, agricultural aspect of, of the landscape here. And uh, then a highway photograph that was shot in Italy. And the tunnel uh, is, is actually part of that, that Italian landscape. Uh, there are no mountains here in Ohio. Mm -hmm. So I have, to, I have to travel to get my mountains. Holtzvega 24 is also a photo montage that incorporates both Ohio landscapes and Italian landscapes. And in this image, I, I, I wanted to use the, the corn because that's such an important um, symbol of this area. There's every, I could drive 10 minutes from here and be in cornfields. Um, so I, I definitely wanted to have something that really spoke to, to this area that was very specific to this area. And then... Um, the, the bridge, this bridge is, just seems like such a quintessential old world um, bridge. Uh, and I thought there was something very romantic about that. And then the, in the background, that city kind of up at the top of the mountain just felt so um, fairy tale like to me. And um, with the, the mist of the clouds, it just had a real kind of storybook quality. Uh, at least for me, it, it felt that way. And so I, I, that was why I combined those images together. In Holtzvega 25, um, I'm combining a, a fall scene that was taken uh, actually pretty close to where I live uh, here in Ohio with a um, photograph that I shot in Tuscany. The, the wall, that stone wall, is, uh, is in Italy. So it's, it's actually a, a road, um, not a highway, but a road in Italy. And there's, a, uh, there's actually stone walls on, on either side. And then the, the fall leaves are, are all in Ohio and the leaves on the ground that you're, that you're basically walking on are, are in Ohio. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I'm also playing around with color palettes. Um, this image obviously has a lot of very warm colors. There's a lot of yellows and oranges and browns uh, where other landscapes are, are, have a lot more blue and green. So I'm also playing around with the color palettes. Uh, Holtzvega 26 is, uh, an Im this was an image that, that had some fun surprises for me. Uh, I shot both of, their, it's made from two photographs, and they're both shot in uh, the Hocking Hills area in central Ohio. And Hocking Hills is a place that I go usually about once a year, I go hiking down there. And it's this amazing place, you all, you're in this rural area, and then all of a sudden, you're, you, you drop down into these um, almost like 
uh, caverns that are, you feel like you're in the land of the lost. <laughs> mm -hmm. the, the, there's just these amazing stone formations and, and there's trees growing over rocks. It almost has like a Harry Potter sort of feeling to it. It's a really wonderful place. Mm -hmm. And um, so this photograph was made um, in Hocking Hills and all of the, the stone that you see kind of in the sky and then these trees with the roots exposed growing over the rocks, that was all in Hocking Hills. And then the road was just outside of Hocking Hills. It was just a rural road. And you can see the a little bit of the, the car in the foreground. Um, but what was really fun about this image when I was making it is I, the, the rocks are gray. And then, but when I combined the rocks with the blue sky, it was a really intense blue sky, uh, it, it ended up giving the effect almost of like ice, almost like a glacier. Mm -hmm. And that was something that I didn't anticipate. So that was one of those fun surprises that happened when I just said, oh, well, let's see what happens if I put these two images together. Um, Holtzwege number 27 was also made in Hocking Hills. And uh, so you can see the, the rocks and the stone steps um, and the trees, they all, they all come together. They are different landscapes, uh, but they're, they're blended together. Uh, Holtzwege number 30 is an image that was made using a photograph that I shot in uh, Colorado and a photograph that I shot in New Hampshire. <laughs> and uh, again, for me, the, the images in Colorado represent possible change and possible upheaval and also possibly very exciting changes in your life. Um, and then the New Hampshire landscape, for me, the, the river um, in, in New Hampshire is a place that I, I go uh, with my family periodically. Uh, we have Thanksgiving um, with family in, in Loon, New Hampshire, and that's where the, the river was shot. And that represents stability and, and family and home. And so for me, there's that personal juxtaposition of what's very comfortable and, and um, very stable with what's unknown and, and not necessarily comfortable um, going into that place where you just, you just don't know. Uh, it's kind of exciting and scary at the same time. I like the way it looks as if the, the road is under the water that's going through the river. Mm -hmm. And you can see the water on top, what seems to be on top of the road. But of course, the, the road is just a dry road. Um, that's just an illusion. Holtzvega 31 is uh, an image that I shot. Uh, that's actually my hand, so I am actually driving, but I, I stopped the car. So <laughs> not actually driving. I did stop the car. I was on a road where um, nobody else was there. So I was able to come to a full stop. So this was done <laughs> safely. <laughs> Uh, so this is, um, from my perspective, very specifically, you see my hand on the steering wheel and that's, you know, when you're driving, that's what it looks like. You see your hand on the steering wheel and you see something out the windshield, but of course this isn't what you would normally see when you're looking out your windshield. Um, so the image of the, my hand on the steering wheel and the car is, is one photograph. And then, uh, this kind of bizarre landscape in the background is actually two different images. Um, one is a snow scene here in Ohio, and the other one is um, in Hocking Hills in uh, this, this very bizarre landscape. And this is an example of uh, an image that when I was hiking, I saw this, I saw this staircase and these, these plants that just, these rocks and plants and everything that just looked like it was from another time and another place. And I thought, I have to work, I have to use this somehow. Mm -hmm. And so when I was when I was starting to make this image, I started with that. I started with that landscape that was made in Hocking Hills and said, okay, what can I combine with this? Because I really want to use this photograph because this particular photograph is just so visually rich and striking. Mm -hmm. And then I played with a couple of different images. In Holtzwegen number 32, I actually used the same source photographs as Holtzwegen 31. Uh, but got a very different effect because I used predominantly the snow image and very little of the Hocking Hills image, uh, where in Holtzvega 31, I have much more of the Hocking Hills image coming through. So it's interesting if you compare the two because um, they look totally different, the color's totally different, but they're actually made from the same two uh, source photographs. Mm -hmm. And the fog in, in these images was uh, it was natural light. Like, whenever there's fog like this in the images, that's photographic. It's I'm not creating that on the computer. That's actually uh, what I'm shooting. 
And um, there have been a number of times that I've uh, I've seen in early in the morning that it's really foggy and I'll, I'll run out and, and start shooting. In fact, I, I shot these photographs right before class one morning and it was just bitter, bitter cold. It was the coldest day. I couldn't feel my fingers. I couldn't feel my toes, but mm -hmm. fog was just so gorgeous. I had to shoot it. <laughs> That's nice. Um, Holtzweger number three is actually another uh, photograph that I shot early, early one day when it was very, very cold and foggy. Uh, part of the image is shot in, in Sylvania at a park that's um, very close to my house that I, I go to all the time and that I've taken my daughter to ever since she was a baby. So that's a, a place that represents stability and is very comfortable and um, meaningful to me personally. And then the other photograph, uh, which is the river, was actually shot in Loon, New Hampshire, which is another place that's uh, again, has uh, connotations of stability and comfort for me because it's a place that I go with my family. Uh, and I like the way the two images come together and it's hard to tell which is the path, which is the river, which landscape you're looking at. Um, in this one, I use a lot more transparency. So sometimes the images are more transparent than others. Uh, but this is one where there's a lot of transparency and you're really seeing both a, a lot of both images at the same time. Mm -hmm. uh, Holtzweger 36 is a combination of a photograph that was shot in uh, New Hampshire and also in Toledo. And so the prairie scene, this kind of dry grass and the trees is shot here in Toledo uh, in, I think it was late, probably really, really early spring, um, just kind of after the winter. And then the the highway itself, this winding highway, uh, was shot in, in New Hampshire, um, just, just driving uh, through the mountains of New Hampshire. And I liked in this image the way the, the this grass seems to come up through the road, but also the way the, the road winds and the edges of the road just barely kind of go in between these trees. It's, it just felt like it just fit, mm -hmm. just just right. Mm -hmm. So that was another thing that I played with and it was a happy accident. And when I saw the way the, the road literally seemed to curve right between the trees like that, I thought, oh, I have to work with this. Yeah, it appears like a natural fit. Right, right. And believe me, there are a lot of images that, that don't. <laughs> <laughs> fits. Uh, there's a lot of trial and error involved in these um, to find the ones that just seem to go together. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I'll, I'll put two images or three images together and I think that they're going to work really well together and they don't and you just don't know until you try it. Mm -hmm. Holtzweger number 37 uh, uses photographs that were made in Ohio and Colorado. Uh, so the, the trees where there's color uh, are, are shot in Colorado, the mountains are in Colorado, and then that boardwalk and the dry grass and the shadow from the tree, that's all here in, in the Toledo area. Mm -hmm. And I was really struck by the quality of light um, in both of these photographs, even though they're in totally different places. And as a photographer, that's something that I, I always respond to. When I see beautiful light, I, I respond to that. And so um, I wanted to find a way to put these two images together because I thought the light was so beautiful. Yeah, it's very nice.